Hi, I'm going to give an overview now of the MAG256 um, IPTV uh, set-top box. So in this video I'm going to cover both the standard MAG and also the Wi-Fi versions of this particular box. So it's, uh, the particular unit is available with free delivery from uh, freetv.ie to Ireland and the UK. And these particular units are extremely popular. Basic idea of them is to allow you to um, uh, receive your television service directly through uh, your broadband service, so no need for a dish or an aerial. And they're proven to be hugely popular, and MAG is very much the market leader inside it, and also the most reliable, um, not alone um, IPTV box that's on the market, but probably of any box we've ever sold, it probably has the lowest returns levels. They're really, really super boxes. Um, so I'm just going to do a direct comparison initially between uh, the 256 and 254. Um, so in terms of, we'll say, um, the CPU that's inside it, the, um, the 256 is using a, um, an ARM uh, A9 um, a processor. Uh, in terms of speed, it can support uh, 1.5 gigahertz as opposed to uh, 650 megahertz which would have been uh, the, the way of the 254. Um, in terms of the RAM, uh, it's got one gig of RAM as opposed to the 254, it's 512 um, uh, meg. And again, the, the flash memory is 512 meg, which is exactly twice what it was on the 254. So, you know, it's a big step up. Uh, so in terms of the units here, uh, we're going to show the two units. So from the front, they look identical here. This is um, the Wi-Fi version here, and this here is the standard two. So what I'm going to do now is just give an overview of exactly what we receive, we'll go into some detail then of what comes with it and then we'll look at the interface and just give it a little bit more uh, insight on how people are using this box. So it, uh, it comes in a very neat little box here, you have a user manual which is in English, we have the power unit here, so it's an external power unit, a HDMI lead, a, um, uh, a remote control here and also what we have here is a um, set of uh, treble A batteries. And if we come down and look at the units themselves, well from the front, we'll see both units are absolutely identical. So there's a USB port in the front. And also what we have here is we have, um, there's a sensor here for picking up obviously the, uh, the remote control. And if you just throw a tape around, first of all, so let's just stand up for this point here, possibly use a pen. And uh, the significant difference between the two boxes is, well talk about what's common. Uh, both versions of the MAG256 here, both have power units in it, uh, both have SP diff in it. Um, the difference is that um, the, there's, no, uh, there's a USB port, uh, a second one, on the back of the unit here for the MAG256, the standard one, but not on the Wi-Fi one because um, it's actually using, um, it's designed differently internally. They've removed the USB port to make way for the Wi-Fi dongle that's built into the unit. Yeah, what we have then is an AV output here, so we can have an a, a 3.5 millimeter output here and run it to a SCAR for our CA, which we stock also on our website. And then what we have is our HDMI output, which most people are obviously using. And then we have the, um, the LAN connection here. So if we decide not to use it as a Wi-Fi mode, we can actually just come along and uh, hardwire it in using an Ethernet cable. So if we come along here and we actually look at the interface, what we have in the thing. So we have a MAG 256 being displayed on the screen here. So we'll look down through here. So we have a home media player on it. So we can use the USB port to add on an external hard drive or USB stick and play back our AVI or NKV movies, whatever, um, files directly onto it. And uh, then what we do is we come down for the weather or um, there's a download manager on here and um, so you have various pieces of functionality like that. But what most people are going to use, obviously with YouTube and all the rest of it as well, and a certain number of games, what most people will be doing is they'll be using, we'll say, the IPTV service. So what they'll be doing is, uh, if you imagine two different scenarios, the first one is in a commercial setup where we have a hotel, we build an IP service uh, in the uh, head end, and we send out the signal um, uh, uh, in terms of channels to all the different hotel rooms via um, uh, Cat5 cables are over the Wi-Fi and you're able to pick it up on your mag boxes directly uh, onto it and connect it to your TV that way. And then the other way would be that you've come along, you buy your mag box and you subscribe to a service uh, and you're able to get your TV uh, that way. So th th that's the main thing there. So it's what you do and add on the service afterwards is, or how you construct the service afterwards is really for people to decide. Now th the main thing to decide here of course is wh where does it really suit? Well if you're in a situation where you're in very poor reception area in terms of um, 
um, let's say a TV area on the hand for there's a restriction possibly in putting up a satellite dish, but you have very fast broadband. Then the mag boxes are an excellent solution simply because you're able to get the box, connect it up, and then choose a service to um, subscribe to for your um, uh, viewing needs. Um, so overall, we'll say um, the mag boxes uh, are very, very strong, and probably the fastest growing area within the whole TV industry now is the online services. So to give you an idea here, the mag boxes are probably selling maybe about 60,000 units a month in Europe, and there's lots of competitors on it. Now, none as big or as good as mag, but it's a massive, massive business, and certainly we've seen huge things on it. And just the interface on them, the brand recognition, and often we'll say when we've got the trade shows, things like that, people who are demonstrating head ends where they're running out IPTV services. They're all virtually always using mag boxes on it and that's simply because they're the industry standard at this point. So um, the, the full range of mags all the way from the 250s up to the 256s and the variants of them uh, are all available with free delivery uh, from freetv.ie.